here's a really quick video that might bring some memories back from the early 1980s, if you're old enough, that is. In 1982, my friend turned up to school wearing one of these. Yes, it's a Casio calculator watch. That doesn't seem too exciting. But his new watch included an Invader game. That really got the imagination going at the time. That Invader game from Casio was also included in this calculator. So what is the Casio Invader game? Well, let me demonstrate it to you now with this brand new calculator. Casio have reissued the Invader game in this retro calculator that you can buy at the moment moment in Japan and I've imported one and I'm going to demonstrate it to you now. Now when I first heard about the Invader game 36 years ago I thought that it would involve Space Invaders on the screen just like the arcade game. It isn't like that. It involves matching numbers. The numbers appear on the right hand side of the screen, move towards the left. You've got to eliminate them by matching the numbers by pressing a button. The further they get to the left the lower the score and the more chance you have of losing a life. Now it's just a normal calculator, but if you press the game button at the top left, you've got these two other buttons, one that's aim and one that's fire. Now when you start the game, it displays your previous high score, and then the game starts. The idea is you press the button on the left to match the numbers as they're appearing from the right and moving towards your base on the left. Now there's a bit of tactics going on here, because if you press the buttons too early, you can find that you've miss the opportunity to shoot down multiple numbers that are the same. But if you wait too long, the numbers will move over to the left-hand side of the screen and take a life off you. Now the lives are shown next to your number. Those three lines there, those are the three lives for this wave. The game plays in waves, and each wave is quicker than the previous one. Now there's always the danger that you can overshoot if you're press the aim button too many times you just go past the number that you want so you really have to get a bit of a rhythm going with this and after you've played it for a while as I remember from being a lot younger you don't even really look at the number on the left hand side you start to get a feeling for where your number is and you can shoot down those ones on the right hand side without even thinking about it now you'll notice there's an N appearing every now and then that is the UFO I think that one gives you more points but I can't quite remember but I know you have just have to match everything on the right and get rid of it before it gets over to the left hand side and takes one of those lives now admittedly it's not all that exciting nowadays and I remember at the time being a little bit disappointed that they weren't proper space invaders on the screen but once you started playing it for a while it did become quite addictive trying to beat someone else's high score and importantly you could turn off the sound just like you can with this one so you could play the game in a maths class without anyone knowing it was probably the most exciting thing about it. Now, back when I bought mine, it was 2,138 yen on Amazon in Japan, which converted to about £14, which wasn't bad. Of course, you pay postage on top of that as well. But now people are asking 6,900 yen for it on there, which converts to over £45, which it isn't worth that, of course. It's hard to believe that there are scalpers for a game calculator, but I suppose that's the world we're living in now. So if you want to get hold of one of these to relive your youth, I'd suggest just waiting until the price settles down a bit or hope that Casio releases it over here officially. Anyway, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.